this is Blake Marar at Scenic Sotheby's International Realty. We've got a great house for you today. This house is at 145 Gulf Bridge Way, situated in the peninsula in Watersound. It's five bedrooms, it's got six baths, 4,238 square feet, situated on a 9,491 square foot lot. This house was designed by Thurber Architecture and the construction was handled by Dune Construction. It's priced at $5,200,000 even. I think you're gonna enjoy this one. All right, let's go inside. All right, so it looks like our floors are white oak. And it looks like our walls are tongue and groove, butt jointed. Really nice. We've got deadhead cypress on the ceilings. Looks like our view is out of the pool. As we go through and we look, we've got a guest bedroom. We've got a, four bedrooms on the first floor, and we have the master on the second, the main living area. So this is a guest bath, just beautiful uh, cypress cabinets. Look how look what they do with that grain, that vertical grain. So we've got quartzite on the countertops and a glass tile uh, accents here. And it looks like we've got 11, maybe 12 foot ceilings here, eight foot doorways. have here is a laundry room. This looks like a soapstone. Looks like we've got some nice cabinet space here. And then this is one of the bedrooms which is set up as a downstairs den. Very similar Cypress cabinetry with a louver door, soapstone. Chrome here, chrome faucet. And this is interesting. It's like a, a hand fabricated stone here with a little insert here. Elevator to get up to the second and third floor. Another guest bedroom. Okay, it's like a glass tile with no transition, frameless glass. And this, I think, is another soapstone. I really like that. One of the other bedrooms. Nice views of the pool. Look at that jasmine blooming. Let's see we've been here. We've been here. All right, let's check out the exterior. Beautiful pool. This decking is Ipe. It's very dense, exotic wood. You actually have to drill before you, you screw because it is so dense. It'll break your drill, break your bit anyway. Um, nice sun shelf here. Spa. rocks in here in this little area just to show the movement of the water this is all peacock pavers makes a really great deck even the coping is all made of that and then just beyond this is Camp Creek Lake and then the dunes and then the Gulf of Mexico 
So this is a pie shaped property. So it's 108 feet on the lake. I've got a, they went bigger than the fire pit. They put a nice fireplace out here. So you would have a nice sitting area out here to enjoy this fireplace. And then here's the exterior elevation from the south. So Don Thurber, the Thurber architecture actually drew this house. This house was finished in 2015. like here we've got some screens that come down as well if you decide you want to screen in and then nice little sitting area outdoor shower I love this it looks so authentic and this is hand handmade love that another mahogany door this actually goes outside to the west of the property. Love those gas lanterns. Bevlo. Epay comes out here. Remember the boardwalk that we discussed out there? Comes right through here. Line Max Wax Myrtles. Good old Max Wordles. Beautiful day. It's about 75 outside. So this is common area and this is how you get to the lake and the gulf. So this bridge takes you to another boardwalk that walks the exterior. And this is the boardwalk that walks around the shoreline of Camp Creek Lake. Community dock. And you're able to store your paddle boards, kayaks. That bridge is so beautiful. You can see that double red flag. And the dune structure is substantial. And you can just see the house. We walk down, the elevation's really high where the house is. And so we had to walk down a good bit. And so you're looking up. Um, what we'll do is we are gonna walk upstairs when we get back in and check out the main living area. really nice mixture of materials where you've got the uh, that brick is really pretty it's very authentic the whole house does this door is gorgeous Stairs, go check out the second level. These are pretty. Love the railing. Sizable island. Panning in here, we've got the dining and then living. Let's check out this kitchen. You've got a lot of cabinet space. Here we go. Bosch dishwasher, Wolf. This looks like a five to six burner. Yeah, that's right. 
subway tile backsplash, the wolf, microwave, and the views. I don't know if you can see this, but the views are just tremendous. They were able to carry all of this deadhead cypress on the ceilings. Looks like you've got about 16 foot ceilings in the vault here. And then they ended up incorporating a scullery in here. Which really turned out nice. Looks like they put a lot of soapstone in. Nice wine cooler. Great views, love it. This was one of the premium sites that were picked out, 13, and um, really did a nice job with this. You got panoramic views of the lake, the dunes, look at all the foliage on those dunes, and then you can see the gulf, really nice. Great sitting area out here, outdoor dining, Here. Looks like they put got some pecky cypress here. Got some grass on the wall. Wallpaper is back. Wall treatment, actually. This is the master. Water sound Florida. Architecture is similar to Cape Cod. Very similar, inspired by Cape Cod. So these are barn doors where they actually hid the hardware. I didn't want you to see that, more of a refined look. It's like you've got marble mosaics, beautiful tub, beautiful nickel hardware true living finish. Everything is nickel. Very simple, very clean, very well done. If you look at this shower, it's beautiful. This house has been used as a second home. Water closet here. I like how they mounted these mirrors with hardware that matches everything and a nickel finish, a living nickel finish. Nickel living finish. Say that five times. Just one, one thing I didn't pick up when I went through here. This is more like a concrete finish and this is uh, like a chiseled edge. Very well done. And this looks like this was fabricated. I don't know if this is pewter or what this is, but it really kind of turned out really modern or contemporary. So you could actually go up the spiral stairwell, but I think what we're gonna do is we are gonna jump in the elevator. We'll safety latch, open this, close this, like so. And we're going to the third floor. Great place to office out of. Third floor, great views. I have a Vikings fan. We have a Vikings fan. Let's walk around here. So this is, make a great sitting area. You get a really good look at the detail with the roof on the cedar shake. You can actually see the copper valleys, copper gutters. 
check out the chimney stack, but look at these views. Great views of Camp Creek, Coastal Dune Lake, those dunes, look at those waves rolling in. And then there's the bridge again. Beautiful day. You can see some people making the corner right there. That's the third floor. Not much to it. Let's see what we've got here. Very simple. Looks like they've got a water softening treatment unit in here. Looks like all of the insulation was blown in. Looks like a closed system. Well done. You notice the floors, these are the white oak that I believe are hand scraped. Carried throughout all three levels. And the same is with this deadhead cypress. Four inch cans. Now let's get in. Close that door. Now all the windows and doors are rated. This is all impact missile, missile impact windows and doors. Key to code, Miami-Dade code. And let's get one last look at these views off the main living area. Spectacular. Right. Thank you so much for joining us. What a great way to run this thing down. Marsha? Yes. Do you want to wave goodbye? Thanks for watching. <laughs> yeah, you bet. All righty. Thanks for joining us. We enjoyed providing this tour for you today. Until next time.